staple at Van Haven uh, convention uh, as a photographer. Talk to us a little bit about how that came about and what you do there. I am one of the two official photographers for the convention. Uh, okay. Philip Jones is the other one. He was there long before I was uh, doing that work. And, uh, well, let me see. What's the best way to describe how that came about? When I started going to the conventions, there was an open photography policy. You could pretty much just do whatever you wanted to. Uh, photography has long been a passion of mine. I've, I got that from my dad. So I've been doing that since I was a kid, taking pictures. And for me, taking pictures is an essential part to participating at the convention of an event. Uh, being able to look back over those um, pictures uh, it's a tactile thing. When I'm in class, when I'm in a, a kind of a class that I take notes, it's the act of writing something down that's more important to me than the words that I actually wrote down. It's that connection. It's a physical thing for me. And I'm a very visual uh, learner. Um, when, I'm going into a lot of depth here. Sorry if you can cut me off at any time. No, you're, I, this is what I want to hear. I remember pictures. When I read books, I remember the words on the page. I remember how they're positioned and how they're laid out more than the text. So uh, I was just having this conversation with someone else about learning strategies, uh, why I learn from printed books rather than ebooks better. Because a printed book always looks the same, and you flip through pages, and I can find the picture of the words. An ebook is always different because you're scrolling through it, and the words are not in the same place all the time. So for me, going to the convention and taking pictures were interlaced. If I was not able to take pictures, then I would not get much out of the convention. And there was a year when, uh, several years actually, when they were really trying to curtail picture taking at the convention. Uh, signs all over, no pictures, no photography. And I just had a long conversation with Mark about it, and I said, look, I, I have to take pictures at the convention, uh, otherwise it has no value to me. I'm happy to share my photos with you. And, oh, here, by the way, here's some of the photos that I've taken at previous conventions. You know, here's the quality of the photos, the caliber of photos that I'm talking about. And, by the way, I don't use flash. So if you ever look at me uh, when I'm running around, I almost never have the flash on. Mm -hmm. um, one of my, my things, one of my specialties is taking live theatrical-type events with no flash. Uh, it's just the techniques that I've developed over the years to do that. I, I want to capture the moment exactly as it happened uh, because that's the way my brain works. That's how I remember that event, and I want to capture it just like that. And a flash changes that. A uh, flash relights the experience and, and captures it in a different way. It's still a valid picture, but it's not what my brain wants to see. And so me, it's all about no flash. Capture the lighting exactly as it is in the room at that moment because that's part of the event. Uh, so Mark looked over the pictures. He talked over it with some other people, and that's kind of he says, "Well, right, well, let's give it a shot." You know, we've got Philip, but you know, maybe the two of you can work together, and you'll have different styles, and maybe that'll work out well. And Philip uh, has just been fantastic to work with, and he and I both realized very quickly that our styles are different. Uh, we capture things in a different way. Mm -hmm. We see things in a different way of of looking at the event. And so between the two of us, it's been a really good mix of blending of capturing those moments at the convention. And I hope it gets to continue, because I certainly enjoy it.